Bamboo Studio is arguably the best 3D printing slicer there is on the market. If you have a 3D printer that's supported, or the technical skills to link an unsupported model, then you have access to an awesome UI with premium features and that's easy to use. Brace yourself though, because the best just got even better. It looks like this slicer has taken an even further leap with the latest 1.10.0 update that's packed with lots of goodies. This isn't your typical update with just a couple of additions and fixes, but rather a complete haul of new features, improvements, and bug fixes. So stay tuned as we dive into and cover all of the details. You won't want to miss this. Hey, this is Rohan here. Thanks for tuning into Creatorific. Let's jump right into this overview of the new Bamboo Studio update, starting off with the feature section. So first off, we have purge optimization. Bamboo Lab claims that this will reduce filament waste of official multicolor prints by almost 21%, which is pretty significant. As cool as multicolor printing is, filament waste is a huge pain point, so this is great to see that Bamboo Labs developed an improvement. Next, long retraction is enabled for more materials for the X, P, and A series of printers. This will help to produce cleaner prints more consistently since more material types such as ABS, PTG, and PLA can now be retracted to avoid stringing and dripping. Next is purge optimization for 12 colors. This feature significantly reduces the amount of waste produced when switching from any of the 12 colors listed. It officially supports bamboo PLA basic filaments, but users can manually adjust settings for third-party filaments to achieve similar results. This is going to save so much filament when multicolor printing, and I know users are going to be happy about that. Next is the brim ear tool, which helps with bed adhesion in just specific spots that might need it rather than the entire model. Users have the ability to apply automatically or manually, and there are sliders within the tool menu to help fine tune the placement. Just make sure to set the brim type to painted in order to access this feature. Next, the scarf seam has been enabled for more materials by default. So all of the types of PLA listed are now set to scarf seam by default, which will help blend seam lines into models curves by shifting the start and end location. Common settings for this feature can now be accessed via the filament settings menu. We now also have an added print history at the bottom of the homepage. This is convenient for accessing previous projects, especially if you print certain models repeatedly. For those of us operating a network of printers, there is now subnet binding support. This allows you to link printers using different networks by directly accessing the printer's IP address. Edit filament management information during printing has been updated as well. You can now update filament information while printing for the P and A series of printers. This update even allows you to load a roll of filament while printing and update the information so that the machine switches automatically. Auto calibration for the A series is now accessible from within the calibration window so that you can optimize the printer without having to use the screen on the hardware. Filament thermal scanning compensation setting allows you to get more accurately scaled models by compensating for shrinkage due to cooling. This will come in handy for those materials that are prone to shrinking after cooling down. There is a newly added Maker World search box on the homepage. This allows you to search for Maker World projects within Bamboo Studio, no longer needing to leave the slicer or use your browser. I'd like to take a moment to quickly highlight our sponsor, PCBWay.com. PCBWay is an awesome company offering custom prototyping and fabrication services using a variety of different methods. Just click the PCB Instant Quote button on their main page and input your order details to receive an on-the-spot pricing estimate. After receiving an accurate quote via email and confirming any design questions, you'll then be able to finalize your order with recipient and payment information. Project designers can also earn a commission anytime their share projects are sold. Plus, right now, PCB Way is hosting their seventh project design contest where community members have a chance to win cash, hardware, and coupon prizes. So be sure to get your entries in soon to take advantage and check out their PCB Instant Quote section to get started with your order today. Now back to our list. Now moving on to the improvement section, there's improved 3MF compatibility for multiple printer models. This helps to rearrange projects effectively when switching printers without causing errors. Next is the wipe tower collision risk reduction improvement. This makes sure that the wiper tower start position uses each of the four corners when changing filament rather than just one to prevent under extrusion. Next up is the display estimated print end time. This is an estimated time for reference only and like stated, may have significant deviations in certain scenarios. The retain color information after split to object slash part feature keeps the assigned color information whenever right clicking to split an STL file. The ironing inset feature can improve the finish of extruded elements by avoiding non-exterior wall areas preventing uneven edges like shown with the text here. Allow paint on support on vertical surfaces, enables users to paint supports on the side of tall vertical objects to prevent them from wobbling or toppling over during printing. 
Improved preset package update notifications will automatically notify you whenever there are preset updates available similar to the software updates. Improved Boolean tool selection interaction allows you to select objects for Boolean operations such as merging right from the objects list. This makes for a more efficient workflow. Next is the third party model addition feature. This improvement allows tear shaped cylinders to be added as negative parts for creating holes. SVG tool interaction upgrades greatly improve the handling of SVG files within Bamboo Studio. The pop-up window gives you control over the depth, size, and rotation, plus it allows you to mirror your SVG for more efficient control and better customization on your models. The Create Heatbed with Specific Region Logos feature allows users to create custom build plates to match their own hardware. This provides a good reference for more accurate model placement by uploading an SVG file. If you're enjoying this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel as well as turn on the notification bell. I really appreciate each and everyone's support and it goes a long way to continue to produce content such as this. Continuing on, the new icon for parts with variable layer heights makes it easy to quickly identify these parts within the objects tab. Cooling parameters resolve allows you to control whether bridging lines are included in cooling slowing down to help improve print quality. Mesh accuracy option for step import allows you to adjust the smoothness and details of models by setting the linear and angle deflection. Enhanced coordinate systems and move slash rotate tools allows users to freely move and rotate parts within assemblies using world coordinates, object coordinates, or part coordinates. In complicated projects, this can help to accurately position parts. Auto homing now requires confirmation, a fail safe to prevent users from accidentally activating this feature. A new print plate has also been added. The Bamboo Lab Cool SuperTac build plate has been added for only the specific material shown. The stop print button optimization now prevents accidental presses of the stop print button, which can be pretty frustrating if that happens. Newly imported parts initial position adjustment prevents newly imported parts from being loaded too closely to existing ones on the build plate. Third party printer preset additions are included for dozens of different printer models, including the Creality K1, the Anycubic Cobra, and more. Korean and Portuguese translation updates are now supported as well. Optimized memory consumption in the data tab significantly reduces newly occurring page faults. Text tool coordinate system optimization fixes placement issues that take place after scaling, rotating, or mirroring parts. Display mesh with a transparent shell under preview mode allows users to better visualize the layers and details of their models. Roll-based wipe speed parameter added ensures that wiping speed is determined by the type of extrusion line currently being printed. The Maker World Upload Button Position Adjustment helps users to avoid uploading files to the wrong place. The Publish to Maker World button is now clearly labeled as shown here. Adjustable handle size and move slash rotate tools allows you to change the grabber size for easier control of parts. Automatic beta version push supported allows you to check the box to automatically receive beta version updates so that you're always using the latest version of Bamboo Studio with up-to-date features. Network status notification now informs you when cloud connectivity is lost so that you can take action to resolve issues quickly. When changing filament, if the PA profile contains an option matching the filament name, the system will automatically match the PA value with the same name to save you time. Well, that was quite a bit, but that now concludes our list of updates for Bamboo Studio version 1.10.0. Many are significant updates just by themselves, but they all add up to make this a pretty huge overhaul of features for the slicer. Let me know what you guys think. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, plus turn on the notification bell to get informed when new videos are released. Links can be found in the video description for any of the resources as well. Thanks for watching, and until next time, see you then. Yeah.